what said go into the world and multiply baby <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a quick topic you see i'm standing so you know that it's a quick one daughters of sarah that believe that um confidence has to do with um um no if you have to be confident and uh, it can't be too big and be confident and um, confidence is in you confidence is in you no some people do not actually have confidence and that's the truth some people don't have confidence and that's okay that's fine sis i'm here for you that's why i'm here for you i was able to gain my level of confidence from a place of pain a place of depression as an introvert i felt like i was never going to be able to stand and do this i didn't think i was be able i would be able to do it but now see me doing it do you get it it's not Confidence is not about being healthy or it's not about, uh, yeah. like funny enough, as big as I am, my cholesterol level is actually low. That's because I detox a lot. I don't actually have bad cholesterol. I also do not have any problem with sugar level. But anybody that sees me, the first thing you say is, ooh, she's unhealthy. Do you get it? Do not judge a book by its cover, okay? I'm just saying, I have been able to build my brand on body positivity about being confident about who you are and not just about oh i want to be confident but what are you confident in i am confident one because i'm a daughter of zion two because that's what god told me to do okay god said go into the world and multiply baby <laughs> but truly if you have to multiply it means you have to I'm sorry, I was actually joking, but these are my the main points. Huh? I became confident one out of a place of pain. Two, God helped me become confident. I know that for a fact, three movies helped me become confident. Practicing my confidence in the mirror, I was always this kind of person that comes to the mirror and be like, oh, if I'm outside, how do I walk? How do I stand? What do I wear that fits my body? I found it difficult to. Nobody ever made me. I want to put a picture here. I couldn't wear <laughs> jumpsuits. Like, I just stay happy no matter what. I do not let things that people do affect me like it used to affect me before. Like, oh, from plus size, I might not see someone that will love me. I might not see someone that will marry me. Yeah, you would see someone that will marry you, obviously. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I mean, if Lizzo can do it, I can do it. Mother Lisa Stevens can do it. And many other plus size models I know that are doing it and they're doing it well. Trust me, you're on your path to discovering the better part of yourself that you've never, ever, 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 ever imagined. So just keep on building the confidence. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put my two accounts here so you can follow me. If you're a lady out there, if you're a guy out there and you're battling with confidence, you're battling with depression, you're battling with being an introvert, my channel is the right place for you because you're just going to see how you can be all these things and still be a very confident person. Even when you have to be in public, you will be. It's a gradual process. Don't think it's an overnight something that I just wake up in the morning and boom. Most women find confidence by being with a man that adores them, that gives them attention, that gives them all they care, the want. And I used to be that woman, but all of a sudden, I was able to find my own confidence by just being me. Do you get? So any guy now that's going to come to me, sorry, this is oil perfume. Um, any guy that's going to come to me now is going to come to me as I'm as prepared as I am. As confident as I am, no body shaming, no, I don't let body shaming, I don't let disrespect, I don't let abuse, I don't let any of that. So, if you know that you want to be a confident person, the first thing you have to do is evaluate yourself. Evaluate yourself. Whatever you think you are valued at, okay, take it, put that figure here, put that, put it here, okay. Now, this is it here. Now you want confidence, right? This is where you are now without confidence and anything. This is it here. You want confidence. Now it goes like this. 
keeps going like this it keeps going like this till it opens up do you get me so make sure that it's a gradual process take your time write out what are your what do you what do you fear the most what are the things that you're very scared of doing what are you scared of achieving what do you tell yourself oh, i don't think i can do it because anything that you want to do and you write because and it's not a godly reason it doesn't have anything to do with your family trust me there's nothing like because anymore if it's not about your religion or your spirituality or your family trust me there's no reason for it to be a but because my time on tiktok instagram and all that i have been able to see a lot a lot of career path that i wish that i knew earlier than i know now and i i think i would have done far better than where i am right now but no time is too late okay just make sure that you keep working on, your, working on yourself every day every day every time okay so you guys don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms here and i'll see you guys next week and <laughs> bye bye